This is the last weekend of summer for students and staff at one of the Tri-State's largest districts. Yeah, it's the first day they'll be back in a classroom in nearly five months at Lakota schools. Alexa Helwig talked to the superintendent about safety plans and why they're phasing students back into the buildings next week. Monday begins a very different type of school year for Lakota schools. It's one that Superintendent Matt Miller says he didn't expect but is prepared for. We haven't put eyes on our kids, most of our kids, in, in five months, and so that's you know that's a little concerning for us. But we will be glad to get um, at least half of them back on Monday, the other half starting on Tuesday. Lakota schools will start next week on a staggered schedule. Students will only be in a classroom two days. Monday and Wednesday or Tuesday and Thursday. On Friday, staff will go over results from a survey that will go out to families during the week. About what worked well with coming back half time, what didn't work well, what do we need to do differently? And so we'll determine what it looks like after that. To eliminate busy hallways, the high school and junior schools will be on a block schedule. That means three 90 minute blocks a day. And that is intentional to keep the movement of students uh, to more of a minimum or down, and then we're trying to rotate it at the younger building, we're trying to rotate teachers in and not have kids move around as much. Miller says most students can expect to be masked up even at their desks, but mask breaks have been incorporated into the day. 25% of students will be learning virtually, the other 75% will be in school. We know there are going to be cases because we adults and kids are catching it now in different areas and different spots, and so um, hopefully we can mitigate that as much as possible. The health department will determine who is notified and who will quarantine if a student or staff member tests positive. But Miller is positive. Lakota is prepared to start the school year safely. We're going to be dealing with this for a long time. So we have to figure out how to live within it um, and listening to uh, the medical experts as we go forward. Alexa Helwig, Local 12 News. Lakota is the seventh largest school district in the state. The city of St.